Happy New Year, everyone! On today's show, drones and the power of electromagnetism to disable UAVs and ourselves? Welcome back to Dear Veronica. I'm your host, Veronica Belmont. And thanks to the magic of video, I am both here and at CES in Las Vegas right now. Something that we've been seeing a lot of at CES in recent years have been consumer drones, quadcopters, and the like. But with their proliferation come some questions, like this one from at SSWing on Twitter. Dear Veronica, how feasible is it to knock a drone or quadcopter from the sky using an EMP cannon? Do such EMP devices exist? So I went down a little research rabbit hole with this one. At first, all I could initially find were some pretty interesting tinfoil hat forums looking for ways to take out drones. And EMP devices definitely came up there as did throwing rocks and shooting guns. Then I came across a few articles about drones actually carrying EMP devices to knock out the power in specific buildings. Under the Air Force's Counter Electronics High Power Microwave Advanced Missile Project, AKA CHAMP, Boeing has created a targeted EMP that doesn't need an explosion to knock out enemy electronics. However, while kind of badass and cool, this is not what we're looking for either. I did find something called Drone Defender, an unreleased product that could potentially knock out some systems in a drone. I decided to ask my friend Eddie Codell, drone enthusiast, videographer, and creator of the Flying Robot International Film Festival, what he thought. He said, a very powerful and directed EMP could stop a drone's electronics from working, but realistically, you'd need to be the military or a government research facility to have this kind of weapon. Anything you could build wouldn't have the power and range needed to work. Drone Defender and similar tech just saturate the control frequencies, 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz, so the drone isn't able to communicate with the RC controller. When that happens, most GPS-enabled consumer drones will just fly back to their takeoff point. Thanks, Eddie. You can follow him over at eddie.com. I would wrap up your question, SS Wing, by saying that yes, these things could definitely exist, but to varying degrees of effectiveness. The Army and Air Force have the power and capacity to build weapons like that, but consumer models are probably much further out. And don't throw rocks at them either. Drones hate that. Thinking about this question made me remember a woman on my block who was very concerned about electromagnetism because she was sensitive to it. Many people out there claim to be allergic to electromagnetism, which seems a little bizarre to me. A little bizarre and a little not real. However, I decided to get a second opinion from Davinja Hardawar, Engadget's senior editor. You may have heard something about electromagnetic allergies. And uh, I have to say, it's surprising that more people are talking about it now. It's actually featured on Better Call Saul, if you've seen that show. And uh, the idea is that uh, electromagnetic fields or wireless fields of any kind can cause health effects on you. And uh, based on everything I've read and I've been looking at this research for a while, there is no scientific proof that this thing actually exists. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that people won't actually have some sort of physical response. Uh, mainly because our brains are really weird things. They can make us believe all sorts of things. A lot of tests have shown that if you actually put somebody in exposure of some sort of like electrical device, uh, but don't actually tell them what's there, uh, they can't actually tell. It's more when they're actually aware, they're surrounded by something, uh, that those effects actually happen. Most of the time though, when somebody says that they're allergic to electronics, that's basically something they've either caught from TV or the internet. It's not actually real, it's not something their doctors are telling them. Uh, but, you know, it's really interesting to see what our brains can convince us of these days. Awesome, Davinja, thank you. Yes, the brain is a very powerful thing. It can really trick us into believing that we can be affected by electromagnetism. But so far, the science doesn't support it. Thanks to everyone who sent in questions this week. Keep them coming over Twitter using the hashtag Dear Veronica, and I'll see you next time. My bangs are like uneven or something, so it makes me want to like tilt my head in, <laughs> like to make it even, like tilt my head this way and this way. And <clears throat> ah, this is really improving. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had a wow. <coughs> 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 What's happening to me? <laughs> okay. This episode of Dear Veronica was brought to you by Go90.